All right, here we are at the old redneck basement. We're uh, doing the head gasket replacement. We just started off by draining the, the radiator and we are loosening the radiator hold down nuts, which are spring loaded. Uh, we did them two revolutions uh, and so they're nice and loose now. All right, so we um, loosened the uh, radiator hose and took off the, or loosened the uh, radiator support rods, lifted the Pull the radiator forward and lifted the hood off. And so that's where we are now. All right, so we took loose the uh, gooseneck uh, bolts and for the coming out of the top of the water heater or water pump um, and had definitely had some heater hose uh, water in the heater hose that leaked out. So got good to have the bucket handy when you pull that out of there. Had to use a screwdriver to. Uh, Get in between the hose and the and the gooseneck. Dull screwdriver. Yeah, dull screwdriver. And so um, we're gonna be able to pop that loose. So now we're ready to move on to the next section here. All right. So now we're gonna take the um, uh, generator, uh, make the generator get a little bit loose, and uh, so we can take the fan blade off or the the fan belt off. All right. So now we're also gonna take loose the uh, uh, spark spark advance control rod. All right, so we pulled the um, fan belt loose, and I've removed the distributor set screw, and Dad's about to pull the spark plugs. We um, have the, our ignition connection to the um, ignition plug is not standard, so we don't have to remove that. That's probably loose enough we won't have to do anything, but we're going to put a new, when we put the new distributor in, we're going to put the new connection in. Let's read up instructions. All right, so we pulled the distributor, uh, and now we're ready to uh, start loosening the, the head nuts. Yeah, but we got to pull the... No, I want you to be right there. You're in film now. All right, so we're going to try to start the... Uh, we're gonna, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're filming. We're filming. So, Mom's here. If you wondered, wondered whose voice that was in the background. I heard it pop. I did, too. Go do it again. Uh, Does it seem like a move? No, I think what's happening. All right, quick uh, Model A update here. We got the um, uh, wedges going in. At the corners, we're going to see where they where they're going and keep tapping them and try to get this thing. Try to get the head off. All right, so we're making good progress here. This back wedge is going in, partially in, all on the back edge, partially out, and then this chisel, and then pressure over here is making good progress. We've taken the bolts off. We've numbered them in, in sequence around the, the head. We're about to take the uh, fan belt off so that the whole thing will come off. All right, Dad's working on the uh, gasket. It's coming up mostly. Looks pretty good in there. It's a little, a little black, but what to be expected. Here's the head. Not too bad a shape. Uh, we dinged it a little bit there. We dinged it a little bit there. I think that'll machine out, no problem. Looking good. Quick update here, old redneck basement. We got the compressor going. And we got the uh, Model A head getting brightened up. You see how bright and nice and bright it gets with the, with the wire brush. But uh, we're gonna get as much off as we can and start painting the sucker up. Got an update here from the old redneck basement. We've got the uh, head pretty well clean. It's not the, the brightest finish, but uh, pretty good for a, um, our pneumatic wire cup brush. We've got the gooseneck as well. We're going to start cleaning it up and getting paint on it. All right, here we are. Uh, got the primer coat on. Got everything masked off. We're going to uh, start coming on with the uh, finish coat here in about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, three coats of primer and three coats of Ford engine green later. We've got a nice 
protective coat on the Model A uh, cylinder head um, and also on the uh, radiator gooseneck. So uh, next week we'll start putting it back in and see if we can't get it knocked out. All right, quick update here at the uh, old Redneck Base when we got the uh, uh, all the gasket material cleaned off on the uh, cylinder head. Um, we have our cylinder uh, uh, block and uh, just chased all the um, studs with uh, uh, taps. And Dad is in the process of cleaning out the, the uh, threads on all the nuts. And we're about to get the or spray down the gasket and spray down the gaskets and and uh, start putting everything back together. All right, we got the head gasket going on now. All right, so we got the head on, and now we're going to uh, start putting the bolts on. All right, quick update here at uh, Old Redneck Basement. Dad and I have been uh, putting the Model A back together. Got the head on. Most everything is back together as it should be. The one thing we're missing is a uh, bolt, lock sorry, lock washer on that nut for the water pump mount. It is, uh, Dad is such a he-man that he uh, uh, completely obliterated the uh, lock washer as he was torquing the, uh, the nut. Pounds. Less than 35 pounds apparently, but it just, it just knew it was up for trouble and Dad just squished it. All right, so we're all done. We're going to pack up for today, and then we're going to come back tomorrow, and hopefully the battery, which is uh, on a low charge, will be ready to go, and we will uh, load her up with some water and top off a few things and uh, start her up and take her over to Dad's house. All right, so here we are, back at the second day of the uh, head installation, and uh, Dad's torquing up the um, water pump mounting uh, nuts. Uh, we uh, crushed a uh, or split open a lock washer yesterday and so we're getting that. Dad's got a replacement and he's uh, smoothed out the bolt so it won't happen again and uh, we're going to uh, fill up with water and fortunately the battery was a little low on juice. Hopefully that's at about 6.2 um, uh, charge right now so we'll see how see how we start it up here in a minute. All right so she fired right up. We got a little bit uh, of smoke coming off the manifold but it seems to be clearing up a little bit of water dripping but that's just the uh, radiator finding its level it's sounding pretty good I think we're ready to take her over to mom and dad's <laughs> 